Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're covering a topic on these hard drives. This is a mechanical hard disk drive. And I actually suffered an issue with this one where I was not able to get it to connect to the computer after dropping it. So we thought it would be a good video topic to cover. So with this one specifically, it was kind of doing like a beeping noise. Like you would plug it in and it would light up and you would hear a beeping and just nothing showing up on the computer. So if you're experiencing that issue or maybe you're just not able to get it to connect after dropping it, this is the video for you. Now, before we jump into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so in front of me on my little desk, I have a couple of tools. This hard drive is a Seagate four terabyte external hard drive. Now the principles are gonna be the same whether or not it's an external hard drive or the actual hard drive in your computer. But the weird thing about this one is I ended up having to use several different types of screwdrivers to get the case open. So I believe this is a T8, this is a torque bit. I also had to use these five point star bits. This is a I believe it's called a pentalobe 1.5. What you're gonna need to do is figure out what type of screwdriver you need to open this up. In most cases, I believe it's gonna be a T8 Torx bit, but you should be able to find that information from the manufacturer of your hard drive. Other than the screwdrivers, I also have this little curved hook tool. This is gonna help you move around parts without having to actually put your fingers on stuff. And then I have the hard drive itself. Now this was an external hard drive, so it had an additional plastic outer layer that you don't currently see. All I did to remove that was pry it off, essentially. And you wanna be very careful and gentle throughout the entire process. Now, before we go ahead and open this up, I do wanna mention, we don't generally recommend doing this, especially if you have crucial data on the hard drive. So opening this up and messing with this without prior professional experience could result in complete loss of data. So you're carrying a massive risk by attempting this yourself. And we just wanted to preface this video by saying that. We don't recommend this, especially if you have important data. Now, if you don't have important data or you don't care what happens to the data and you wanna go ahead and try this yourself, we'll flip the camera around and we're gonna go ahead and open this up and take a look. All right, so here's a closer look at the hard drive. Now, this is the side that we're going to remove. You can see, um, let me move the camera a little closer. If you look at this, there was a sticker here previously. You kinda of just have to tear it off to access the screw. You wanna make sure you can access every single one of these screws. This is the Torx bit that we're gonna be using. And it's only for this screw right here. The rest of them are this T1.5, which is that pentalobe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove every single one of these screws. We're gonna gently lift the lid off and then we will take a look, see if we can figure out what's wrong. So I'll go ahead and speed up this portion of the video and we'll see you guys when this is over. Again, be extremely gentle during this process and don't force anything. Okay, it's now free and you can just gently pry it off. And immediately I can see the problem with this hard drive. So we have the disc right here. Now again, we don't wanna to touch this stuff. You don't want any dust or particles collecting on the disc itself. You don't wanna further damage these components as they can definitely be fragile. But as we can see, the reed heads are supposed to be right here. Let me go ahead and use this to point. So these are the reed heads. They're stuck on the disc. That's why we were hearing that beeping sound. And they're supposed to return here when they're not reading or writing information on the disc. Now, it's also possible that the actual heads themselves are damaged, but this would be a good first thing to try to see if you can just fix the hard drive. So what we're gonna do in this case, is we're gonna very gently move the right heads back to their correct position. So you can see these little holes in here. I'm gonna use my little tool here to very gently slide over. Just like that. So as we can see, it's returned now to its correct position. Go ahead and just set that back down. Again, we could be dealing with things such as damage to the right heads themselves, but if you opened up your hard drive and it looked like this one, that is probably your issue. So now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the cover. 
the same way I took it off with all the correct screws in the correct positions. And that's all there is to it for this video. Now, if this doesn't fix your issue, at this point, we'd recommend sending the hard drive to a professional that can give it their best effort to recover the data. They can't always do it, and it can often be very expensive, which is why we wanted to give you guys this tutorial. But in the case of this hard drive specifically, the read and write heads are pretty much fried, and I don't have any data that's absolutely critical. So I decided that I didn't want to try to further recover the data. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope that this was able to fix your issue with your hard drive, and if it's not the case, we hope that you can get it fixed and get your missing data back. Now, again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.